everyone to Fun Story Factory. Today we're reading Mr. McGee and the Blackberry Jam by Pamela Allen. Underneath this apple tree lives a man called Mr. McGee. There he is, he's yawning and stretching his arms. And there's his table and chairs where he's going to have his breakfast. And this is the big apple tree that he lives under. This morning, he was feeling grumpy. He'd made the porridge and it was lumpy. He'd put two sugars in his tea, then spilt the lot and burnt his knee. Look, he doesn't look very happy, does he? He's not having a very good breakfast today. When he went to butter his bread, he found the butter too hard to spread. So it wasn't surprising when he said, I hate marmalade. I want blackberry jam instead. And look, there's a nice pussycat sleeping on his bed. So off he went with his billy can to find the blackberries for his jam. He left the table and he's going off now. And the cat's looking at him, wondering where he's going. He walked and walked for quite a while until he came upon a stile. Guess what he could see from there? Look, there's a big sign that says, Beware of the bull. And he's walked past all the sheep. Blackberries, blackberries everywhere. Shouting, look what I have found. He took one leap onto the ground. So he could pick those big round berries, black and fat and big as cherries. He is jumping with joy there, look at him. But he doesn't know there's a bull waiting. One by one in the billy they dropped. He liked the sound of plip, plop, plopped. He's reaching up high to get all the blackberries. Now, while he picked so busily, behind him where he couldn't see, a herd of hyphas gathered round to view the stranger they had found. Look, all the cows are looking at him picking the blackberries. When Mr. McGee discovered them there, he blurted out, I've washed my hands, I've combed my hair. Oh, come on, girls, you're not being fair. You know that it is rude to stare. He's getting a little bit frightened because all the cows are looking at him. He turned his back and went on picking and that was when they started licking. All the cows were having a good lick of him. All their tongues went in and out, up and down and round about. Mr. McGee began to squirm as though he were a little worm. I think he's tickling, being tickled by the cows. Stop it, please. You're tickling me. And then he giggled helplessly. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. Ho, ho, ho. Just like a kookaburra song, the laughing noise went on and on. The bull let out a mighty bellow. Get out of here, you cheeky fellow. The started helfers all turned round. The bull was pouring at the ground. Mr. McGee just turned to stone. He couldn't run or move a bone. He was scared. Look at that big, fierce bull. One moment he was standing there. The next, he was tossed into the air. Ouch, she's saying. Look at that picture. As he soared above the crowd, he just had time to shout out loud. I think the lot of you are rotten. Then both his hands clutched at his bottom. 
because he was in pain, wasn't he? And he's falling, falling, falling down. He landed softly in a heap on the back of a woolly sheep. There he is. He rode the sheep just like a horse and got home really fast, of course. That night when he was safe in bed, he thought about his day, then said, I can't think what got in my head. It's marmalade. I love on bread. And there he's back in bed. And the next morning he's going to enjoy his marmalade breakfast because he doesn't want to be hit by a bull again, does he? Wasn't that a lovely story? Shall we share another one tomorrow? There he is. It's been such fun reading with you at Fun Story Factory today. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the story. Comment below what your favourite book is that you would like me to read. I have so many more to share with you. Bye.